Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. In today's episode, let's take a look at what's new in the Photos app in macOS Catalina. MacMost is made possible thanks to viewers like you. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read about the Patreon campaign, join us, and get exclusive content. So with macOS Catalina, we get Photos version 5. Now it isn't too different from Photos version 4 that came with macOS Mojave. But one of the biggest changes is right there up front for you to see immediately. And that's that now things are organized by years, months, and days rather than years, collections, and moments. This is a good thing because collections and moments was kind of confusing. What exactly made up a collection and what exactly made up a moment. Months and days is very clear. If you don't see these four options up here, click on Photos on the left. And if you shrink this window enough you will have a pull down menu instead of four buttons. Now yours is pretty straightforward. It groups everything by year. It takes one photo from that year and uses that as the thumbnail. And then you can double click to jump into any year. And when you do that you will end up in months. So you can switch between years and months either by clicking up here or by being in years and double clicking on a year to jump down into it. Now you are in the months view. Some months will be represented by a single photo. Others by groups of photos. Sometimes two, sometimes three, sometimes even more. And the groups are usually broken up in different ways. Like for instance for this month you can see it's broken up showing three different days that photos were taken. Sometimes these will be date ranges. Sometimes there will be days but different locations inside that day. And when you double click on one of these you will jump down to days and here then it groups everything by day in a big scrolling list and you can see the days as you move by. So for instance if we move, keep moving we see a new day there. And we keep moving more we see a new day there. And then it breaks it up using kind of some sort of logic to figure out like what the best photo is or the most interesting one at least. And then smaller and smaller thumbnails for different photos. And it's not going to use all the photos just the ones that thinks are representative of what's in there. You also get these three dots here and you can play a video showing you the photos from that day. Notice also how it uses animation to go in and out of these. So for instance if I select this photo here and I go to Months you can see how it shrunk that photo into here kind of visually allowing me to keep my place to where things are. So if I want to go back to that photo I just double click in there. So I could select a photo, go to Months and you can see it shrink down into that. And if I go into Years you can see that year shrink over there. So it allows me to visually keep my place as I move between years, months, and days. Now you still have the All Photos view just like you did before. If you select that you just get this grid list showing you all of your photos. And you can scroll through it. It's just in chronological order. But we have a new feature now where you can instead of seeing every bit of all the different photos giving you some vertical, some horizontal, some landscape ones. You can now go and see them all as square photos. So you click there and now they're all square. It zooms in more or less on the center of the photo although it's supposed to use intelligence to figure out if there's a more interesting part of the photo to show. And then you can scroll through and instead of having a lot of blank space there it could be a lot easier to spot things if they're all the same size and square. You also have the ability to shrink or enlarge the size of these. And this can go uh, quite small. In this collection here of samples there's only about four or five hundred pictures and this is how small it gets. But in my main library when I shrink it all the way these actually become quite small little thumbnails. Another new feature is in Memories if you go to a particular memory you will see a Play button here and you will be able to play a video here uh, showing a movie of this memory. You have got settings here where you can change the music and also the length of this memory video. This is something we had in iOS before but now it's new to the Mac Photos app. Another feature is that in years, months, days, and all photos if you move your cursor over a live photo or video it automatically starts playing there in the thumbnail. You can turn that off in Photos Preferences. Note because machine learning is involved with a lot of the stuff here you may not see some of these features right away. Matter of fact if you go to Years View and then you scroll all the way to the bottom you will see a progress bar. So it may take a little while for you to see the best photos in the Days and Months View and for some of these other features like Memories to also start appearing. 
Now there are no changes to the editing tools this time around which is a shame because there's some new things in iOS 13 that I'd like to see here like the ability to use filters and light and color changes in videos as well as photos. But perhaps we'll see that in an incremental update at some point. I publish new tutorials every weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Then hit the little bell icon to get notifications for each new tutorial.